welcome to a series of uh, <coughs> lectures on mathematical methods and its applications. So, in the last lecture we have studied how to find Laplace transform of periodic functions. Uh, in this lecture we will see what are unit step functions and how to find Laplace transform of unit step functions. So, what, what are unit step functions? Let us see. So, it is defined like this unit step function is basically denoted by u t minus a or it is also denoted by u a t which is defined like this it is 0 when t less than a and it is 1 when t greater than equal to a. So, it attains this function have only two values either 0 or 1 when we are discussing unit step function at a point a at a point t equal to a that means whenever t is less than a it attains value 0 and when t is greater than equal to a it attains value 1. So, how what is the graph of this function suppose a is this point ok. So, when t is less than a this function has value 0 and when t is greater than a this value this function is value 1. So, this is unit step function. So, basically this function is used in electrical circuits and systems. So, whenever we uh, solve some problems on electrical circuits uh, where we have some differential equations having unit step function. So, therefore, when we whenever we solve such problems we have to find out Laplace transform of unit step function. So, how to find Laplace of this let us see. Now, Laplace transform unit step function is given as this now what is uh, what is the Laplace transform of this function u a t now one can easily find it is 0 to infinity e k power minus p t into u a t. Now, by the definition when t is less than a u a t is 0 and when t is greater than equal to a u a t is 1 it is basically from a to infinity e k power minus p t into 1 because otherwise it is 0 and it is nothing but e power minus p t upon minus p from a to infinity. When t tend to infinity assuming p greater than 0 it is tending to 0 and when t equal to a it is nothing but e power minus a p upon p. So, this will be the Laplace transform of unit step function. Now, the second shifting property it states that if Laplace transform f t is f p then Laplace transform f t minus a into u a t is nothing but e k power minus a p into f p. So, what this property is basically Laplace transform of f t minus a u a t is nothing but e k power minus a p into f p where f p is Laplace transform of f t. So, this is called this property is called second shifting property. So, how to prove this uh, proof is quite simple this can be written as 0 to infinity e k power minus p t f t minus a u a t into d t ok. Now, when t is greater than a u a t is 1 and when t less than a u a t is 0 by the definition of unit step function. So, this is a to infinity e k power minus p t f t minus a into 1 because from a because from 0 to a u a t is 0. So, that value is 0. Now, you take t minus a as some variable z. So, d t will be d z. So, this will be equals to when t is a it is 0, when t is infinity it is infinity e k power minus p t is a plus z it is f z into d z and it is nothing but e k power minus p a can come out because it is free from z. So, it is 0 to infinity e k power minus p z f z dz and this is nothing but Laplace transform of ft. So, we can write 
e to the power minus a p into f p. So, hence uh, we proved second shifting property that whenever we have to find out Laplace transform of f t minus a into u a t is nothing but e k power minus a p into f p where f p is a Laplace transform of f t. Now, the same property can be stated for inverse Laplace transforms. Laplace inverse of e k power minus a p into f p is nothing but f t minus a u a t okay, where Laplace inverse of f p is f t. Now, let us solve some problems based on this. Now, suppose we have to find out Laplace transform of t square plus 1 u 1 t. Laplace transform of t square plus 1 into u 1 t. Now, there are two ways to solve this problem. Either uh, you apply the definition of Laplace transform, by definition of Laplace transform it is nothing but uh, 0 to infinity t square plus 1 u 1 t into a k power minus p t d t. And you know that uh, when t is greater than 1, we know that when t is greater than 1, uh, it is 1 otherwise 0. So, it is 1 to infinity t square plus 1 a k power minus p t d t. Now, take uh, t minus 1 as z. So, it is 0 to infinity and t is 1 plus z whole square plus 1 e k power minus p t is z plus 1 into d z. So, it is nothing but e k power minus p will come out. So, it is 0 to infinity it is z square plus 2 z plus 2 into e k power minus p z d z okay. and it is nothing but e k power minus p. Now, z square into this from 0 to infinity is nothing but Laplace Laplace transform of t square plus 2 into z into this is nothing but Laplace transform of z that is Laplace transform of t plus 2 into Laplace transform of 1. Now, Laplace or t square we already know it is nothing but uh, 2 upon uh, <coughs> t square is nothing but factorial 2 upon uh, p cube. Laplace transform of t is 1 upon p square it is 1 upon p on sim uh, we can simplify and we can find out the Laplace transform of this expression. This is the one way you directly apply the definition of Laplace transform and the unit step function and then find the Laplace transform of this function f t. The second way out is you, uh, we can use second shifting property. Now, how to use second shifting property let us see. What, what second shifting property states? It is states that Laplace transform of f t minus a u a t must be equals to a k power is equal to a k power minus a p into f p where f p is Laplace transform of this f t. Okay. The important thing to note here is a is same whatever a we have we are having here the same a we are having here. Okay. Now, here we have to where a here a is 1. Okay. Now, to applying second shifting property this f t square plus 1 must be in must be in the powers of t minus 1 because a is 1. Okay. So, t square plus t square plus 1 we have to express any way in the powers of t minus 1. So, it has a it has a quadratic expression. So, we can write it like this <coughs> t minus 1 plus 1 whole square this and plus 1 this you can take as one uh, one function. So, it is a square plus b square plus 2 a b plus 1 and it is t minus 1 whole square plus 2 t into t minus 1 plus 2. So, this expression can be written as this in uh, in the powers of t minus 1. Okay. Now, uh, Laplace of t square plus 1 into u 1 t this can be written as Laplace of t minus 1 whole square plus 
2 into t minus 1 plus 2 whole multiplied by e uh, u 1 t. Now, this can be done as Laplace of t minus 1 whole square u 1 t plus 2 into Laplace of t minus 1 into u 1 t plus 2 times Laplace of u 1 t. Now, by the shifting property, second shifting property, this expression is nothing but e power minus a p, a is 1. So, a power minus p, f p, f p is Laplace transform of f t, here f t is t square. So, Laplace transform of t square is factorial 2 upon p cube plus now 2 into again e power minus a p by this property. Now, here f p is t, <laughs> here f t is t and the Laplace transform of t is 1 by p square plus 2 into and Laplace transform of 1 is 1 into, so 1 is 1 by p e to power minus p into 1 by p. So, that is how we can find out the Laplace transform of same function uh, using second shifting property. So, it is our choice whether we use the direct definition of Laplace transform or we can directly use the second shifting property to find out the Laplace transform of such functions. Now, suppose you have a second problem. So, again a second problem can be solved using second shifting property. So, how to find? So, uh, Laplace transform of it is sin t into u pi t. So, here a is pi. So, you have to express this function f t in terms of t minus pi. Then only you can apply second shifting property because by second shifting property we have Laplace transform of t minus a into u a t which is equals to e k power minus a p into f t uh, into f p. Okay. So, uh, you have to express the sin t in the power in the as a function of t minus pi. So, how to write this sin t is same as sin pi minus t okay. sin theta is same as sin pi minus theta and it is nothing but negative of sin t minus pi. So, that is how we can express uh, sin t in that in uh, in terms of t minus pi. Now, Laplace of sin t into u pi t is nothing but Laplace of negative of sin t minus pi into u pi t negative can come out and by the second shifting property it is nothing but e to power minus a p a is pi pi minus a p into f p f p f p is Laplace transform of f t here f t is sin t. So, Laplace transform of sin t is 1 upon p square plus 1. So, that is how we can find out Laplace transform of this function. Now, similarly <coughs> Laplace transform of third problem can be find out because what is, the, what, is the third, what is the third problem basically? If you see the third problem carefully, so it is 0 when t is uh, less than 3 greater than equal to 0 and it is t minus 2 whole cube when t is greater than equal to 3. So, if you see this problem carefully, it is nothing but t minus 2 whole cube into unit step function at t equal to 3. Because when t is less than 3, it is 0, 0 into this is 0 and when t is greater than 3, it is 1, so 1 into this is this. So, basically this function is nothing but this function. Now, to find out Laplace transform of this function, you have to express this function, this f t in the powers of t minus 3. So, how to, how we can express this function power of t minus 3? You can take it like this t minus 3 plus 1 whole cube. So, it is now you can take it a and it is b. So, a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square and u 3 t. Now, the Laplace transform of this function f t will be nothing but 
Laplace transform of this into this, which is nothing but a power minus a p, a is 3, p and t cube is factorial 3 upon p k power 4 plus 1, 1 is a k power minus 3 p, 1 is 1 by p plus 3 into a k power minus a p, a k power minus 3 p into t minus 3 whole square is factorial 2 upon p cube plus 3 into a k power minus 3 p again t minus 3 f t is t the Laplace transform of t is 1 by p square. So, that is how now we can simplify this. So, that will be Laplace transform of this function. Now, similarly <coughs> the last problem is nothing but uh, last problem is nothing but cos t into unit step function at t equal to pi by 2. And again, we have to express cos t in the in uh, terms of t minus pi by 2 to apply shift, Sackey shifting property. Or the other way is you can apply, you can use uh, the definition of Laplace transform and directly you can find out the Laplace transform of such functions. Now, uh, suppose this function is given to you and you want to express this function in terms of unit step function and then you have to find out the Laplace transform of such functions, how to uh, solve these such problems. So, what, what is this function? F t is F t is t square when t varying from 0 to t and it is 4 t when t is more than 2, more than or equal to 2. Okay. Now, first we have to express this function in terms of unit step function. So, directly if you want to see to uh, we are unable to express this function unit step function directly, but how can we how can we simplify this. Now, this function can be written as t square into the lower limit is at t equal to 0. So, you write like this u 0 t minus u 2 t. Why I am doing this? Uh, I will explain it now. Basically, uh, for function u at lower limit minus u at upper limit plus 4 t into u 2 t. Now, if if suppose uh, t lying between 0 to t, 0 to 2, okay. if t lying between 0 to 2, so this will be 1 because t is more than 0 and since t is less than 2, so this is 0 and this is 0. So, we are have we are having only t square. So, t square when t lying between 0 to t 2, okay. because when t lying between 0 to 2, t is less than 2 and when t less than 2, u 2 t is 0. So, it is 0, it is 0, it is 1 because t is more than 1. So, it is nothing but t square. Now, when t is greater than equal to 2, so it is greater than equal to 0 also. When t is greater than equal to 2, it is more than 0 also. So, it is 1, it is 1, it is 1, 1, 1 cancel out, so it is nothing but 40. So, that is how we can express this function in terms of unit step function. Now, how to find Laplace transform uh, now of this function? We have to use second shifting property. For second shifting property, we have to uh, make the same a, f t minus a into u a t. Okay? Now, here t is 0, here it is also 0, so no problem. It is this is nothing but t minus 0 whole square okay, and u 0 t. Here we know we are here we have no problem. So, it is t square u 2 t plus 4 t into u 2 t. Now, this is t minus 0 whole square or t square u 0 t. Now, we have to express this t square in the powers of t minus 2. So, it is t minus 2 plus 2 whole square we can write. And here also t minus 2 plus 2. So, it is nothing but t minus 0 whole square u 0 t and it is a square plus b square plus 2 a b. And it is 4 times t minus 2 u 2 t plus 4 to the 8 
u to t. Okay. Now the Laplace transform of this F t is nothing but using second shifting property. It is nothing but e power minus a p a is zero, so e k power zero is one. Okay, and uh, F p F p is Laplace transform F t F t is t square t square is two factorial upon p cube minus. Now it is t minus two whole square into u two t, so it is nothing but it is nothing but uh, e k power minus two p into Laplace transform of t square, which is nothing but factorial two upon p cube. Okay, this expression. Next is minus four, minus four plus eight is minus uh, is uh, plus four, plus four times u two t. Is nothing but one by p e k power minus two p. Okay. Next is minus four plus four. So that is that will be cancel uh, cancel out. So this will be the Laplace transform of this function. So basically, when we have a uh, function in breakup form, okay. So the function can be rewritten in terms of unit step function, and then can can and then. The Laplace transform of such functions can be found using uh, second shifting property. So the Laplace transform of such functions can be find out. First, we express those function in terms of Richter function, and then we using second shifting property, Laplace transform of such functions can be find. Now, uh, similarly, uh, we can solve the second problem also. Uh, first, we have to convert this function in terms of Richter function. So uh, I will convert this uh, in terms of register function, and then we can find its Laplace transform using second shifting property. So what is what is this function will be basically in terms of register function sin t into u zero t minus u pi t plus next is sin two t upper limit is u pi t. Minus lower limit is u two pi t plus sin three t and u two pi t. So in this way we can express this function in terms of unit step function. You can easily see when t is more than zero and less than pi. So it is one, it is zero, it is zero, it is zero, it is zero. So you will be having only sin t. That is the first part of this expression. Of this problem, when t is more than pi and less than two pi, so it is one, it is one, one one cancel out, okay, and it is one, it is zero, it is zero because t is less than two pi. So we will be having only sine two t, which is second part of this expression. And when t is more than two pi, it is uh, one, it is one, it is one, it is one. So one one cancel out, one one cancel out, it is one. Only we are we having with sine three t, which is the third part of this expression. So in this way, we can express this function in terms of Richter function. And in order to find the Laplace transform of this F t, express this. If you multiply this, leave as it is. When you multiply this with this, express sine t uh, in the term in the terms of uh, t minus pi. And when you multiply this with this or this with this. Express uh, f t uh, with f t minus a whenever you have u a t. Okay, here a is pi. To express this in uh, in the form of t minus pi, when you multiply with this two pi, express this in the in terms of t minus two pi. Then you can easily apply second shifting property to find out the Laplace transform of this function. Now. Let us find Laplace inverse uh, inverse Laplace transform also of such functions. So, uh, what is the uh, Laplace transform uh, inverse Laplace transform of uh, uh, step function like? So, uh, we have already seen that f t minus a into u a t uh, is nothing but uh, e power minus a p into f p, where f p is Laplace transform of this f t. So, in terms of inverse, what we can say Laplace inverse of e power minus a p into f p is nothing but 
f t minus a into u a t where Laplace inverse of f p is f t. So, this is the implication of second shifting property. Now, if we want to solve out the first problem, which is very simple, it is e power minus a p okay? and f p here is 1 upon p plus 3 the first in the first problem. So, f p is 1 upon p plus 3 and what is the Laplace inverse of 1 upon p plus 3? It is e power minus 3 t. So, basically Laplace inverse of 1 upon p plus 3 for the first problem is e power minus 3 t. So, what would be the Laplace inverse of e k power minus 2 p upon p plus 3? It is nothing but f t minus a. So, this is f t and a is a is 2. So, this is nothing but f t minus 2 into u 2 t by this property. So, it is it is e k power minus 3 t minus 2 u 2 t. So, this will be the Laplace inverse of the first problem. Similarly, we can find out Laplace inverse of the second problem also. Okay. Now, let us solve the third and fourth part are similar. So, let us try to solve out any one of the parts say third part we will solve. So, basically whenever there is an involvement of e power minus a p with any f p. So, think over in unit step function. First find out Laplace inverse of f p and then using second shifting property you can find out the Laplace inverse of e power minus a p into f p. Now, in the third problem f p is what? f p is log p square plus 1 upon p into p plus 1. Okay. So, first uh, find out Laplace inverse of this f p which we call as f t and e k power minus a p a is 3 from the problem if we compare this problem with that problem. So, a is 3 find after finding f t simply replace t by t minus a that is t minus 3 into u 3 t. So, the only uh, only thing to find is what is f t. Okay. So, f t we can find out for such problems we have to use derivative. So, what is f dash p? f dash of this uh, function is nothing but 2 p upon p square plus 1 minus 1 by p minus 1 upon p plus 1 because this function nothing but log p square plus 1 minus log p minus log p plus 1. So, derivative will be this and what is the Laplace inverse take Laplace inverse both the sides. So, Laplace inverse of f dash p is minus t f t and this is 2 cos t this is minus 1 okay. Laplace inverse of 1 by p is 1 and Laplace inverse of 1 upon 1 plus p is first e power uh, minus t okay, shifting property and then 1 upon p is nothing but 1. Yeah, it is of course e power minus t. Uh, okay. So, f t will be nothing but 1 plus e k power minus t minus 2 cos t upon t. So, this is f t. So, what is the Laplace inverse of this? Laplace inverse of e k power minus 3 p into this f p will be nothing but f of t minus 3 into u 3 t. So, in this f t simply replace t by t minus 3 you will get the Laplace inverse of this function. Similarly, to solve the last problem, find out the Laplace inverse of 10 inverse 2 by p by making use of derivatives and then use second shifting property to find out Laplace inverse of e power minus a p into f p here a, a is 2. Okay. So, that is how we can find out Laplace transform of new step functions and, lap and uh, inverse Laplace transforms involving unit step function.
थैंक यू वेरी मच